everyone, and welcome to our game of the week. Finally, it's here. The focus of the college football world right here on this All right, all today. right, and all we right. So we have a in our matchup. first game, right guys, in and this is going to be interesting. I am going to turn down the game audio because I don't want any copyrights from that and we are just going to commentate this game ourselves. we are the game of the week so you have brad and uh kurt commentating the game you see the led lights man we are in atlanta georgia dude no we're in mercedes-benz stadium this is actually in new orleans uh, if I'm not mistaken, the kickoff game, game of the week, big time game. I'm excited for this. I'll turn it up just a little bit. Dude, this is going to be hype right here. The kickoff, the opening kickoff. Let's go. Let's see what we can do right here against AM. Returning the kickoff here. I didn't want Lavender back there on kick return. I thought I changed that. They may have changed it back. If so, that's fine. Kozar is the returning leading receiver right here. Look at the lighting at the bottom of the screen. It's kind of weird. Now, I'm going to give you some little pro tips right here, man. I am in the beer and shooting. You're going to see this live, how I run this offense. I do use a lot of no huddle. I do use a lot of up-tempo type stuff. So, um, I'm going to turn my mic here so y'all can hear me and see me. All right, let's get it right here. We start out with this play here, the dive, just to kind of get the ball going. Stiff arm, roll it down. Look, that's about four or five yards a pop. Whenever I unlock the new, um, the new stuff that I want to use, then that's going to make it super simple. See, see how they rolled one high safety over the top? What I'll do right here, I'll change it to all goes right here because this play, a lot of times, somebody is going to get open and we jump on the line but i change it to all goes out of this formation because i don't know it may be broken it may be broken i'm not gonna say that it's not broken it may be broken but somebody like it's like the secondary just don't know who the guard in this particular situation so we're coming out here in the rpo scheme right here i'm just gonna give it to the running back we don't gain many yards on that but i'm still gonna know huddle hopefully they run a safety down it's third down and 10 i'm gonna go ahead and run all goes on this all right, Jennings, quarterback, drops back. See right there, he is wide open, guys. Did play. It doesn't work all the time, but it works a lot of the time. And SMU is on the board to start the game. That is fantastic. The Mustangs come out firing on all cylinders. Taylor Shetron. Jennings just drop backs and lays it out there. Now, he doesn't have the arm that you would see from a Preston Stone, who was a first round draft pick for the Mustangs. But in yet and still, he is a good quarterback and is going to be the leader for this team. I don't know why the lighting is like that on here. So y'all look at the bottom of the players. It's weird. It's like it's a light on the field, but it's not. All right. Kickoff set to kick off for the mustangs and they really need to recruit a kicker because we don't have a good kicker look at how see what i mean by the lighting it, it's weird that, that's just a game glitch but it's kind of bothering me but it's not the end of the world so secondaries comparison the mustangs have a stout secondary and it shows so formation wise we run out of the four two five i like to do covers Four quarters, that's what worked uh, with us last year against a and um, And I actually picked the wrong one right there. We'll switch to cover two because I don't want to send a bunch of pressure right out the gate. But I do want to disguise my coverage. You see they got man motion. Handing off to the wide receiver. He's got nothing but feel. Oh, he takes a shot. Bounces off of a defender. Wow. That was a good run. And they're going to go up tempo. They're going to go no huddle right here. Under center. I like the transition, looking to the sideline, reading the secondary. We're showing zero coverage, but in fact, we aren't in zero coverage. And they run the same play to the backside out of a different formation. And he is going to score out of the gate. A&M is flexing their muscles early in this game. Touchdown, Texas A&M. Wow, that, <laughs> that was a big play right there. Caught us napping for sure yes indeed that was awesome that was a good run right there a good play call going under center i did not expect them to run that but they did and they got the touchdown is this going to be an offensive game or is this going to be 
a game that's going to go down to it. I know confidently, offensively, we're going to be tough to stop because what we run, um, what we run offensively is very good with the with the uh, bear and shoot. What it does, uh, the bear and shoots makes you it spreads out the the defense and it allows you to be able to run the football very effectively. Like I said, I like to go with that spread uh, with the four wide, the doubles, and I like to have them stacked. Now that all plays a purpose. And then I always do the RPO because even in itself, no huddling, that gives me a lot of options. You can see here, look how spread out they are. We are just going to run the ball in there. Oh, man, my lineman getting stuffed, not getting any pressure or not getting any push. Um, not getting any push on that particular play right there. Jennings, quarterback, he's going to throw the screen. We got some room to run and we gain a decent amount of yards. And I tried to no huddle, but <laughs> they didn't let us do it right there, which is perfectly fine because we're going to come back to the same play, guys. Our offensive line is pretty decent, but we get stuffed in the backfield. Wow. We didn't get any protection on that run play right there. It's going to bring up a fourth down punting situation. And I don't like to punt because my kicker is terrible. Look at the field that we're giving them to work with starting out because I don't have a good kicker. All right. Fourth. Let's go first and 10. I want to go quarters this time. Um, hopefully, they don't do that end around play. That really hurt us. And A&M is looking for payback from last year because they, they beat us badly. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. He just got juked out of his cleats on that play. Wow. What are we doing already defensively? We are not looking like the same team that we were last year. I'm telling you guys, we were stout. Y'all seen the game. Um a&M couldn't do anything with us and they run the end around again and it's working if it ain't broke don't fix it you get what I'm saying it's gonna bring up a second down and six ball at the 37 yard line A&M comes out in a gun to three receivers trips to the right of the formation passes the ball that's gonna be enough for the first down no it's gonna be short brings up third down and in inches and I can't help but expect them to run the end around with a wide receiver Maybe they're going to send him in motion. They hand off to the running back. He has a crease and a first down. Wow. This is going to be a tough game. I can kind of tell already. But we are up for the task. Defensively, we are known for making plays when it matters the most. Get off the block right there. And that is our first tackle uh, that didn't go for a big gain for the defense. And that's something to build upon. They are already in field goal range, but if we can come away with just a field goal here, that is way better than coming away with them scoring a touchdown on the play. Man comes in motion. They're going to give the end around again. There's no outside pursuit. He makes a guy miss and gets the first down. This is something that we are going to have to watch. Possibly play a little bit of man. That's what they want to get us in by doing that motion. Get us in the man. That way they have the advantage and then they hit us deep or something like that. And they got a mobile quarterback who can run and he gets into the end zone. Wow. Our defense is not looking good right now. That is not good. And offensively, we haven't gotten much going aside from the big play at the beginning. They're creating a lot of pressure. They're showing that they're strong up front. They're fast up front and they are getting through on our guys. That is fine, though. It's still the first quarter. We're only down by seven. So... Let's take this kickoff and make some magic happen. Bringing it back. And I, oh, I had a crease, but it closed up quick. They are extremely fast. And I know you're going to say, well, DM, run a different offense. Guys, I'm telling you, trust the process, okay? We start out slow from time to time. But when we get rolling, we're going to be rolling. Hand off to the running back here. And it's going to be a holding call. That is going to come back after a big 10-yard gain on the play. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. But it happens. It happens, especially in this offense. It's very fast pace, especially going against a very good defensive front that, that uh, A&M has. And now they're going to kind of stack the box just a little bit. I am going to check to this play right here because this safety is cheated over in the middle of the field. If we can get some coverage to the outside, which we don't, but we have a receiver. Can he get him deep? He does. First down 
SMU. This is why I like that stack formation because whenever you do run all verts, you have a good chance of some receivers getting open. But the thing about that is you have got to have speed at that position. Good job blocking right there. Our running back gets a big crease for a big first down and we are going to no huddle. We are going to go back on the football. Now we were doing RPO, but they have been creating such good pressure. I don't know if that's something that I want to continue to do. So uh, let's go ahead and check back to it. Check, check, check. Snap the ball. They're not in man coverage. We're able to get our key receiver the ball down there. And all that does, uh, you might not get a lot off of that, guys. Understand. But that's fine because what it causes the receivers, I mean, what it causes the corners to do is have to be patient. And then they're going to come down. They're going to bring the safeties down. And that's when you can hit them over the top for a big game. All right. And then once I'm ahead, I open up the playbook a little more. But I like to start out in this to kind of get a feel for what the uh, for what the defense is doing. And they are very fast up front. This is going to be a very interesting game. I don't expect this game right here to be a blowout. And you see them rolling the safeties down right there. That's perfectly fine. We are perfectly OK with that. We'll go doubles in right here and we will uh, make some checks here. Uh, let's hit a slant route right there. Hopefully this comes open and it does. He's wide open right there. That's how you spread out the field and then we'll go turbo. No, they didn't let me go turbo, but that's fine. We should still be able to punch it in. Even here on the goal line, we have them spread out four man on four. We will take that every time. Touchdown SMU Mustangs. Let's go. Martin on the run for the Mustangs in for the touchdown and the field goal kick is set to go it is good and smu just like that we tie it up now i don't know man defensively we're gonna have to figure out something to stop them because we're we have not been able to stop them yet offensively uh they are very good and we can't afford to keep giving them great field position on kickoffs look at that. that they're starting with great field position we aren't even able to kick it out of the end zone i may need to find a different kicker if they keep running the in around then we're going to be in trouble with that. Now, what we did last year or what they ran last year was more out of the shotgun. And they do see they run an end around and I tried to come down and feel that I'm going to have to get out of this cover zero look because they are torching us with the wide receiver jet plays. So I'm going to have to get out of that for sure. Maybe play on a safety here just so I can come down and possibly try to stop that or stop it in the backfield. They're going to empty set right here. We need to get a big play here. He's wide open right there across the middle of the field. And my goodness, we do not have an answer for what A&M is doing right now. But that's fine. It's a tied ball game. We are going. It's going to be that way sometimes. They're number sixth in the nation for a reason. This is going to be a fun game. This game could come down to the wire, which is always a good game to have. I know you like blowouts and stuff, but let's be honest. Blowing teams out every week, it gets boring over time. So... We don't want to blow out every time. I'm happy with that. And they are going with the beer and shoot offense. Look at the splits on the wide receivers are extremely wide right there. And oh my gosh. Wow. A&M with the playbook depth is crazy. We're going to go double brackets right here. But we're going to show cover three. Even though everybody else is in man, I'm going to press my corners. That way we're closer to the ball. They're running some end around again. And he is off this time yes we finally stopped it brings up a third down and seven we are going to go tampa 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 let's press those corners they got trips out to the right let's get some pressure on this quarterback he can't let him sit out and throw almost has a complete pass but the receiver dropped it that is good because now they settle for a field goal. Hopefully, we don't get a running into the kicker, which we have been notorious for doing in the past games. And just like that, they go up by three, and we are poised to strike. Good kick right there by AM. Kickoff set to five minutes, 27 seconds left to go in the first half of play. Lavender back to receive the kickoff and I've kind of been like one block away from taking some of these kickoffs All right now now that we got a decent lead. I still I'm still not comfortable 
with the lead right now, or the we're trailing by three, I'm sorry. I'm still not comfortable in the position that we're in offensively, and I still want to be able to set this up. You got one high safety over the top. We're going to check to all goes right here. Somebody should come open. Let's see if they do. They don't, but we're going to give him a chance one-on-one. -on -one. We'll take that all day. That's fine. It happens. That's going to cause them to be, uh, they're going to have to play a little conservative against us because we'll nickel and dime you down the field for 10 yards a pop with a running back like this but 79 has been getting his butt kicked all day it is third down and i am gonna have to put this ball in the air because i am not confident in my running ability to be able to get the first down and we have a receiver wide open for a touchdown baby now y'all can see how i have been doing with the veer and shoot i'm telling you you just have to read those safeties if the safety doesn't fit sometimes the corners they just don't play well they get lost in coverage because the veer and shoot causes the defense to be out of a normal alignment does that make sense and and it works out sometimes you catch them in a bad coverage and this is why you need fast receivers because if you have receivers that run 85 speed 88 speed like 90 acceleration it's not to say that they can't get open but it's going to be a lot harder for them too but when you got deep threat receivers normally what a deep threat receiver is is not necessarily saying they're just super duper fast but they're good on deep uh routes they run deep routes very well and all goes are deep routes, and so they're able to get off of presses and things like that and get open. So that's a key component to the beer and shoot is having uh, deep threat receivers on the outside, some go daddies, as I like to call them. I am going to get out of that cover zero shell, probably go to a cover two man. I might be showing my hand here. That safety is playing way back. Dude, they are beer and shooting us all over the place. Get off of a tackle. Look at that right there, man. God bless. Hey, they're running that beer and shoot, man. And you know that because of the wide splits. And see how wide splits the receivers are? And that I got to keep the box intact right here. Because if I don't, and they are still gouging us offensively, we cannot stop them. We don't have an answer for that. We were doing a little bit better in the nickel. So I'm going to switch back to the nickel defense because the 4-2-5 just wasn't cutting it. We have got to create some pressure on the line. We get some pressure. We get some penetration right there. But God bless, we cannot stop this offense. It's almost like we're moving in slow motion. The defensive line that we had last year, they were quick. They were fast. They were able to get to the ball very quickly and create pressure against A&M, but they have an answer for us this year. End around, and we're going to scope that one out. We missed the tackle, but we are able to slow them down. Good job right there, because if we can stop that play, but Jesus, they are running the ball all over us. We're passing all over them, but they're running the ball all over us today. Just may be one of those games, guys. Look at that. He's wide open for a first down. Let's shift to some man. Let's try to bring some pressure with these linebackers. My defensive tackles are not very fast. Which, I mean, hey, they're defensive tackles. That's supposed to be the case. Shift, they're probably running here to the right side of the field. They don't. They run with the quarterback, and we get him down. Good job by the linebacker right there. Brings up a second down and five. We're going to disguise cover zero and go cover three sky because I am expecting them to try to hit us at the linebacker spot. If we get motion from the receiver, then you can probably expect some end around type stuff. Pressure there, linebackers are sitting on it. Nobody comes down and they score an easy touchdown. They are making us look pathetic on defense right now. We got speed, but you know, I don't know if I wanna cover, stay in a man coverage or if I want to stick with zone. It seems like so far we've been doing better playing zone coverage but oh my gosh man they are doing whatever they want to do offensively we haven't stopped them yet aside from the field goal lavender back to receive the kickoff oh man i thought i had a crease and it closed up on me we're gonna stick with stack right now because i like it it's working no reason to change it and there's so many options that we can do safeties are going to walk down they have a wide front right here one linebacker if we can get to the next level which we do that's good truck stick let's keep going baby keep the ball rolling no huddle <laughs> i swear man the game controls just don't register sometimes and it's irritating 
because I wanted to up tempo them right there because that would have been ideal. We have a big lane right here. Yes, this is going to be an offensive game, man. This is going to be an offensive game. Are they going back with two safeties high? Huh? Yeah, they are. We'll run the same thing. Look at that. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Good blocking right there by 72. I'll take that three-yard gain. This time, I feel like they're going to try to bring some pressure. We're going to go with the RPO right here. Throw it out into the flats. Make a guy miss. Let's go. Let's go. Yes, sir. Our key receiver, we got to get him the ball in space because he is dangerous. Okay, let's uh, reset the play. I think we're still going RPO scheme right here. Our running back is tired, so I may get him a break on this drive right here because we don't want to wear him down. Let's get the other back in the game. And we'll go with the same concept, guys. The defense is going to be wrong. You have to make them wrong, okay? 86 for a running back is crazy, but I don't care. If he likes it, I love it. Oh, and he knocks that one down. I'm lucky that wasn't intercepted, but that gives us another chance to score. I was going with the all goals on that because we had one safety look up top. Starting running backs back in the game. And it's fourth and four. Should we go for it or should we kick the field goal? With it being this early in the game, oh, man, decisions, decisions, decisions. Let's go ahead and take the field goal and tie it up. I don't want to regret that later on, but my kicker, you can tell, is atrocious. We might miss this field goal. It should go in, and it does. I don't know how we made that with such a bad kicker, but we did. I'm not going to complain about that one. All right, kickoff time, baby. Defensively, we have yet to stop them, and it is bad. It's looking really bad for us right now on defense. we got to come up with a stop. It's going to be very hard to win a national championship when we can't even make a stop on defense. And the ball comes out, but they get back on it. We stripped it. No, we got it. We got it. Turnover. Yes, sir. Time to take a shot downfield right here. This is what you do whenever you get a turnover, man. You have got to take a shot. And we do right there. And oh, he knocks it down. I didn't put enough air on it, but that is perfectly fine. Let's go back to the stack formation and let's run it down their throats. We're going to keep them spread out because that's going to be key. Notice how they got eight in the box. What, seven in the five in the box? Four, five, six in the box right now. But that's fine. We should still be able to run the ball right here. Good job by the running back. And we get the first down. No huddle. Let's go up tempo. Yes, sir. See, now they're a little bit spread out. That's fine. We're going to give the ball back to the running back, and they almost stop us in the backfield. We get back to the line of scrimmage, and we're going to up tempo. Let's keep it going. Oh, I tried to throw. I tried to throw the RPO there, but they wouldn't let me throw the RPO for some reason. Like I said, sometimes it just it just glitches out. Hey, if we can go up by three right here, a win is a win. We will take that every time. Hand off to the running back. They get pressure. We make a move inside for the touchdown. Let's go, Martin. LJ Martin on the touchdown. The awesome cutback. Oh, my gosh. I thought they had us in the backfield right there, but we were able to get by him. And, guys, this is a ball game this is super exciting super nerve-wracking these are the types of games that i love playing because it makes you nervous man because you know any mistake could be a costly one and you don't want to give the other team momentum i know that the game doesn't have a momentum meter but my god it should because in actuality man this game really 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 momentum is a beast and you can feel it on every play remind me to to get us a kicker because this guy is not even able to kick it out of the end zone maybe i can find a player on the team that kicks the football let's go nickel and we want to play some man coverage because zone is killing us everything is really killing us right now a m is able to do what they want i would like for us to be faster at the defensive end spot than what we are because I mean, the defensive tackle spot, I'm sorry, because our D tackles just, they are not getting pressure. They are not getting penetration. Last year, we had a defensive tackle that was uh, fairly quick. Oh, get that pick. That would have been so nice, but I'll take the incomplete pass. Let's go 4-2-5, four quarters. We're going to show cover zero. Actually, let's show cover six on these guys. Cover six shell right here. 
looking for the end around that's been their bread and butter and it no reason why they shouldn't run it here oh they get the complete pass zone coverage 425 zones is just not our friend today we have got to stick with man i hate to do that but i don't like playing a whole bunch of man but at this particular situation man look at that wide open he catches the ball and they're trying to score before the half we have got to find an answer for this let's go cover two man let's put some help over the top man we are struggling defensively guys they are doing what they want to do with us and we need a big play almost get a turnover right there but the corner is just out of position we're gonna go with the same play we're not gonna change anything that's when you really start to mess up is whenever you start changing your schemes and oh man we got pressure on them get the interception turn around oh my gosh our awareness has to be terrible so let's I need to man up my best corner with their best uh, wide receiver right now because we have got to get an answer for this. I've noticed a big difference in our defensive line. We are not as good up front, and it shows maybe, oh, a tip pass, and we were still kind of beat on that one. Brings up a third down in 10. We are going to show cover zero and go cover two. Man, this is going to kind of bring the safeties down a little bit, but that's fine. Hopefully, we can get a stop here. See, no pressure from the defensive front. We got a little bit, but oh, my gosh. They caught that for a first down. Oh, we let them out. Man, what a catch right there. That's one thing that I do like about this game is when the offense makes a play, like the other team makes plays man you can't get mad at it because it is what it is and they catch another one we are in position but we are not making plays that's the second time that a secondary coverage the secondary back was there we just could not get there in time and that's because a m has such a good quarterback he's able to put that ball on the money your throwing power um is, is where you're able to get those balls into uh tight windows pause get some pressure we're right there fumble get on it oh man if all 11 guys are flying to the football or at least our d line if we can get more pressure then that would be ideal will we hold them to a field goal i don't know if they're gonna make it i don't know if they're gonna miss it hopefully they miss it but no they make it and you know what that's fine we still maintain the lead uh we need to score before the half because we uh we started with the football so expect me to run some all goes right here and take a couple of shots look at the rush yard comparison it's crazy 184 rushing yards two rushing touchdowns by both teams but they've ran the ball more than we have now we're doing better in the past game but they are killing us on the ground right now we do not have an answer for it they stopped running those in around plays with the wide receiver which honestly i don't know why they have because we could not stop it but it's been working out for them hopefully we can get some of the same action right here this is what i'm going to be looking um to go to offensively is the all goes out of the stack formation so all right we're starting the second half i thought i was going to have time for another play but i guess not and so we're giving them the ball back and they are down so we definitely need a stop because if they score they will go ahead for the lead and if we hold them to three we'll still be up by one that's ideally what i want to do i like cover two for the most part it worked out for us somewhat we'll kind of stick with that for a little bit number six right the a m opening week against the number one ranked smu mustangs and intercepted right there we needed that so bad let's go and you can see just how slow he is the quarterback walked him down but i mean he is a linebacker after all but jesus he was slow as molasses right there but what a huge play to start the half right there look at this right here linebacker plays underneath on that and he catches that ball and he almost he got walked down by the quarterback but i am not complaining because we score a much needed touchdown right there that was our middle linebacker on the play and that is good that he could get under there and cover a slot receiver mustangs go ahead by 11. Seven 
set for the kickoff. And we have needed that defensive play. Now, what can help us tremendously is, oh, I tried to hit stick him right there, and he ran right by me. What could help us on this next play, uh, this series is very, very important because if we can get a stop or even a turnover, better yet, now we get in a position where we can open up our playbook, if you will. They stay on the ground, and he is tackled for a one-yard gain on the play. I'm going to stick with the cover two, cover two man, because, dude, it seems to be what's working for us the best right now. We are leaving some guys open. You're going to have some mismatches here and there. But this has been the best bet to slow down this high-powered offense. And he gets the ball in open space. And I miss a tackle from the free safety that gave them the first down. It would have been third and short. But he made me miss and miss big. They're going no huddle. Looking to the sideline, changing the play. Right there, we get another interception. That is huge. Oh, my gosh. Let's go. That is the outside linebacker, number 54, with the big-time interception. We needed that so bad. And SMU is coming out firing on all cylinders. I am not getting optimistic about this game because I understand that things can change in a heartbeat. That is the starting middle linebacker, mind you. Kilgore gets into the game. Look at that. He's big time with that interception right there. And I'm going to take a shot on offense right here and see if I can sling it downfield and get us a, a quick scoring touchdown that will give us comfortability. Anytime you have a turnover, guys, take a shot downfield, man. It is the best time to score against the team. And nobody's open. I'm going to go one-on-one -on -one and give my guy a chance. Nothing doing right there, but that's fine. That is fine. Take your shots. Now they have it spread in the middle of the field. Hand off to the running back. I have a crease. Cannot get to the next level, but that's fine. I will nickel and dime down the field all day. My safeties are walked down right here, so we're going to go all. We're going to run, run all goes again, and my guy is open. He has them beat. Touchdown, SMU. Yes, sir. You might say, DM, how did you know that he was beat? Well, let's, I gotta, I'll show it to you in instant replay. I've learned how to read these. Um, I knew I had one-on-one -on -one coverage. So looking at an instant replay, this is what I see. The safeties are walked down. They're normally a little bit further. Uh, they're about 12, 13 yards off, 12 by 12 yards off the ball. And then you see over here, the corners and safeties are pressed on this side. And I'm going to zoom out so you can see the full picture here. And this is what we're looking at on the beer and shoot over here in the top left corner. See, the, the one receiver releases inside like that. He tried, to, he tried to jam my guy, as you can see. The right side is not covered, but the safety drops back, okay? The safety drops back, but he is out of position already. He, he should have dropped towards the, towards the boundary, but he didn't, and... When I seen him sit right there, I knew I was going to have a one-on-one. -on -one. I looked at this receiver over here to the right first and didn't see him. Uh, I could tell when they're going to be open off of the release, the press right there, and I just knew he was going to have a one-on-one. -on -one, so you just throw it up and let him run underneath it. That's why it's important to have some go daddies out there at wide receiver. And just like that, we take a 45-27 to 27 lead, but we still need to come out and play defense. We got two big time interceptions by our linebacker. And just like that, within what, a minute and 30 seconds or so, we are ahead in this game. But there is still a ton of football left to be played. And they take the opening kickoff back for a touchdown. And that is what I am talking about. Just like that, a game can change in a heartbeat. Now we are poised to have to come back out and score a touchdown. Because that is a huge momentum shifting play right there. Kickoff returns don't happen often in this game. But when they do, man, they are huge. They are big time. Offensively, we're going to have to come out and try to score again. Oh, and I thought I had a crease to be able to get one back. I'm going to stick with what's been working for us out of the stacked formation. And if I see what I like, I'll adjust it. 
one high safety i like that the other safeties kind of rolled down we're gonna go all goes again and see if we can't get somebody open we do circle's gonna be wide open on that because the safety came down and i put too much air on it oh my gosh i had them beat and i put way too much air on it but they're lining up in the same formation so i'm not gonna change anything we are gonna go to it again because it may come open again if we're lucky it doesn't but we will take that one-on-one -on -one all day wow man i really thought we had a touchdown right there that would have been a huge turnaround play right here the safeties are out of position right here if we can get some blocking and we do and we rumble and stumble and we get enough for the first down one high safety look you know what we're going to we're running all goes right here you're gonna need to run two high safety look against us because that is not gonna work one-on-one -on -one coverage we'll take that all day go and get it no it's incomplete but what it does is stretches the defense and i know you're gonna say dm you've been running the same plays guys because it works trust the process i do open up my playbook when i have a more comfortable lead uh, but this isn't one of those games. This is one of those games where you got to run what's working. If it ain't broke, don't freaking fix it. Because I've noticed in playing the game that when I start to run plays that don't work um, or just try to, oh, I want to run something different. So I'm not running the same plays over and over again. What I've learned is that you get into a position where you end up down just just for trying something new. I'm going to run RPO right here. Create some space. And so what I've learned to do, okay, this say, there are no safeties over the top right here. We're going to go deep right here. No safeties over the top right here. Touchdown. That's easy money, baby. Oh, man, he dove the, and he dropped it. Oh, my God. Wide open and he drops it. So we are going to stick to that. It is fourth down and six. I am not in a position to punt. We are close enough to go for it. And look at one safety high, and he's playing to the field. We are going to go all goes again and hope to, oh, we got a jump. That's going to be an encroachment, and that should give us a first down. No, it's going to make it fourth and one. Fourth down and one, and you know what we are going to do. Give it to our guy because he has been averaging about four to five yards a carry let's hope we get this first down the blocking is there we do we got a big lane to run through let the bruiser take it he's got workhorse so he can take those hits i should have up tempo there but it is fine safeties are walked down hopefully we can get cozart here open cozart isn't open but we have a man there go and get it with the user catch and he drops it we are dropping passes left and right so let's dive into the playbook here run some different formations because with the veer and shoot we need field to work with and we don't really have that right now hand off to the running back we got blocking at the next level makes a move Woo made a miss get the first down let's go up tempo rpo screen alert we got a corner press in there three there this is going to be an automatic give right here nothing wrong with that we will rumble and stumble our way down to the end zone all day inside zone play right here same play good blocking has a lane we gotta make that guy miss and we don't let's go turbo and try to catch them off guard here catch them napping a little bit and we do and we get the first down i'm gonna bring in the backup running back right here and let him finish the drive because martin is gassed and that is perfectly fine because brown who is a speedy guy Oh, and he's tackled in the backfield. Let's go back to our formation. We need to spread them out because they are uh, they're stacking up at this goal line. We need to get in here, man. We need a touchdown to get us back to where we were at. And off right there. Speedster get in there. Touchdown ponies. Let's go. See, this is what I'm saying. Like last time like you i've blown out teams on all american difficulty but then you see now it's like it's not a blowout man i mean we're we got a comfortable lead but it's not where we want it to be 
see how close of a game this is. You know what I'm saying? And so you blow out teams and then you have close games like that. So it's not necessarily saying, hey, I need to up the difficulty level because I put up 80 points. It's just to say, dude, you know when you have a really good team. And last year, we had a really good team. Like, we had so much speed up front. It was crazy. <clears throat> Let's stick with the uh, cover two. If I can find it. There you go. Cover two, man. We're going to stick with that. I know they're going to come out and th put the ball in the air. And that's fine. Our linebackers have been playing fairly well today with uh, two big-time interceptions. Oh, and we almost had another one. Good job right there by the defense. Brings up second down and 10. Ball at the 20-yard line. We're going to press the corners. That may be costly. No, it's not. They run and they make a move on our defensive end and left him standing in mud. Going to bring up a third down and five, you would think, right here. They're going to try to take a shot downfield. And they do. They drop back to pass. They have a completion. And our linebackers are the ones that are getting beat. It's not the secondary. It's the linebackers. And, you know, it is what it is. I mean, they, are, they aren't the fastest guys, but they definitely aren't the slowest. I mean, they've made plays for us. They've made huge plays for us. And so, you know, it is what it is. You got to think about this. We're going up against a very, very good team. And this is what it looks like when you go against a good team. It may not be the case. Oh, we had him in the backfield, but I ran past him. I over-pursued. Good job getting pressure on that, though. Let's show cover three. Let's show cover four. We're going to run cover two man out of cover four concept. Let's press the corners. Expect the pass. Third down and eight. Big third down right here. We getting some pressure. Oh, intercepted finally. Yes, sir. That quarterback is fast, man. Look, he can run. But we are going to take the pick six, Jenkins, for the pick six. That is the second pick six of the game, dog. Yes, sir. In our third interception, the secondary, the defense is finally coming to life. And, man, I am ready to get the heck out of here, man. This is one of those games where it's like, dude, I am just ready to load up the bus and get out. It's crazy. Whenever you're losing in the game, time goes by so fast. But when you're winning, time crawls to a standstill. Defense has stepped up tremendously in this game, and they have made plays where it matters the most. We're not faster up front. We definitely need to work on getting some guys in that defensive line that can really get through and create some pressure. It doesn't help either that they're starting the ball from like the, almost the 25-yard line every single time. Um, that doesn't help us either as far as defensively. Um, but let's find cover two. Uh, I don't think we have it out of this particular set, and that's fine. We can always check to it. Let's go Tampa 2. That's going to put everybody in the zone. I kind of don't want to do that. Let's call a timeout because they were going to snap that ball, and we were going to be out of position big time. I could have swore we had a cover two formation in, in here. There we go. It's un, it's in under. 4-2-5 under. Cover two, man. They see something they like. Oh, I got to get flat on that. Safety's got to come down. Hey, I'll let them run the ball all they want to. They have been torching us in the run game. You see the wear and tear on my linebackers because, dude, they have been getting tore up. Or is that on my linemen? The wear and tear is unreal. They go end around again. Oh, and we stop it. Almost broke that one. I was super nervous on that one. I thought they were going to stop that, but they didn't. Yeah, look at the wear and tear on my safety, dude. That is insane. Do y'all see that? He is struggling in this game. It's weird to see wear and tear on a secondary back. Great open field tackle, and they're back to the line of scrimmage. Yeah, my free safety. Look look at this wear and tear. That's going to be the end of the third quarter, and the Mustangs are leading in this one. 59-34, to 34, and I'm telling you, watching this game, y'all can see that it hasn't been an easy game for us defensively, but we've gotten three turnovers and two pick sixes that has put the game where it's at. So 
but y'all can tell like it's it's amazing how you look at a game and and you see the score and think oh man they are blowing them out but if you watch the game you can tell that is not really the case and he caught that one we finally got pressure on the quarterback but he was still able to get the ball off this is where speed kills and where we need to improve as a defense this is why I like speed on the d line we force him to try to get out the outside and he is sacked by arbor who is our best defensive lineman we need him to eat and eat often second down is 16 ball at the 47 yard line omari all Ar Ar aber i said arbor but it's aber mispronouncing my players names not very good on the coaching side of things. We're going to press the corners right here just to try to freeze them up and give our linemen time. And that is costly because he got beat off of the snap and they score a touchdown. That's the thing about a 4-2-5. You got to have some go daddies. Now you see here, they're running a veer. I mean, that's veer and shoot. Uh, you know, this is the same offense that we run. Um... A&M running it as well. And you can you can see just how explosive an offense it is because look at this. You're one-on-one. -on -one. And I pressed him, and he didn't even press because he's not even ready. And the guy just runs right by him. The safety isn't going to get there in time. And if you don't get pressure, it's going to be a touchdown every time. That's why I like the veer and shoot, man. It takes the safeties out of the equation. They're going to have to widen out those safeties in order to compensate for that. And they're going on side right here. We're going to waste the time out. I don't know why I expected them to kick a regular kick. I wasn't paying attention. They're down by 18. Wow. We have got to get this ball back. Do not let them get it. We got it. Get on the ground. That's my free safety who is getting all kind of beat up in this game. You see right here, we can put him in the game. You can put the elbow and stuff like that. We're not going to do that. We're going to sub him out. Um and not going to worry about that. Now, since I'm, I have a somewhat comfortable lead, I'm going to open up the playbook now because I feel comfortable doing that. Run with the running back, cut it up, break a tackle. There we go. You see why he is our workhorse and how he was able to run for so many yards. The wear and tear on him is unreal. So I am going to go ahead and take him out for the rest of the game uh, because I don't want him getting hurt. See, look at that. Oh, my gosh. Not, minus 15, minus 15. Yeah, let's take him out of the game. Um, let's bring in Polk, and then we will make Brown the backup running back right here. Because we're, we're up by 18. Five minutes left to go in the game. Um, yeah, we, we don't need that. Actually, and even coach adjustments. Let's go ahead and choose some clock because we need to get out of here as soon as possible and we got jennings at quarterback so he's good at running the ball with the read option as well oh and they tackled me in the backfield for a loss i i kept it when i should have gave it but it's all good second down and 13 everybody's playing off jennings making some moves this is why we like him because he is mobile but we don't want him taking a bunch of hits like that so we definitely need to get down he is our starting quarterback after all look at that beard and that 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 right there i'm not gonna audible i'm not gonna try to throw that ball i do not want to throw an interception and the second down and one right there I had man coverage. If we had more field to work with, I definitely would have uh, checked and threw that ball. But no need to do that right there. I could have stayed outside, juke too far inside. But that's going to give us first down and goal. And at least we can walk away with a field goal. But we're looking to score six points here. They put Martin back in the game. And that's fine because he doesn't get touched. And we get in for the touchdown. Yes, sir. He is bruised and battered, but he is running the football for us so well this game. 65 to 41, running into the kicker. Oh, man, this is a very high-scoring game, guys, as you can tell. This is not a very good uh, defensive showing for either team. But, dude, for us to be able to come in and open up the season with another win against a top-10 opponent is huge. That is big time for the program. That, that bloody... 
that that validity you know what i'm saying let's go dom kind of don't want to go dom but we're going to try dom because i feel like they're going to air it out cover two man and dom really need to pay attention to where they are spreading the field at right there good open field tackle to get them down two minute warning this is a good game for validity this this shows um this shows that we are legit that last year wasn't a fluke you know what i'm saying you can't really even say last year was a fluke because we beat a bunch of top ranked powerful teams and he catches that one and he yeah we get him out of bounds i was gonna chop him down um let's go prevent that's gonna put three guys on top now what this does is if they line up in that beer and shoot we got some guys over the top now and guys really that's another defense that you can run to kind of slow down the beer and shoot uh that way you're not at a mismatch all you got to do is walk everybody down now it's going to open up the middle of the field but see right there the middle of the field is open but if you got a team like myself who likes to throw that fade route to the sideline that's a good play uh that's a good formation to run against that now we're going to go back to nickel since they don't have as much field to work with if i could find cover two man then that would be great because that has what's been working for us once i got out of the zone defensively we started making some plays and one-on-one -on -one again and he gets beat again for a touchdown Oh, man, what happened on that particular play? I'm pretty sure I pressed my corners on that. I need to stop doing that. Look at this right here. They're in the same formation we in. This is the stack formation, and this is why I love it. We weren't ready at the snap of the ball, and he just runs right by them. I should have left them where they were at, but I started pressing them, and you can see the safety. He's not even ready. He put that ball on the money. Wow, man. You can see even, even Texas A&M, how explosive they are with that beer and shoot offense. The beer and shoot is, it, man, I'm telling you, if you got some go daddies out there at receiver, you catch the defense out of position, and that's the thing about it. The way that I run my offense, you are going to be wrong 100% of the time. I need to waste another time out because I'm sitting here lining up in regular return when computer is smart and they want to kick it on side. But yeah, the you're going to be wrong 100% of the time. And if you are right, no, we got to get that. Don't take unnecessary hits. All right. Yeah, so that's what I like about this offense because I'm going to make you wrong. You're not going to be right in, in what you do. Nothing doing right there. And I'm not mad at it. We're just trying to get out of here with the dub. They've got two timeouts left look at that gap we'll take that all day first down and that's gonna do it that is gonna be the ball game texas a and m wow coming out with our first victory of the year against a and m another because we played them first last year and and we beat them in in very similar fashion Oh, I tried to get through that little crease right there, but nothing doing right there. They're not going to call a timeout. We're not going to nail it. We are actually, let's go ahead and nail it so that time speeds up really, really fast. But you can see we need improvements on defense. Um, but, dude, a win is a win. We will take that every single time. SMU opens up the season with a 66-48 to victory against A&M. Two very high-powered offenses. Dude, I'm telling you, even with the three interceptions, they were still able to put up 40-something points. Um, receiver, player of the game, Shelton, six receptions, 213 yards and three touchdowns. So y'all can see you're able to put up big numbers really fast with this offense. And that's why I like to run it. That's why I like to play with it, man. Such an amazing experience, an amazing game. And you can look at the tail of the tape. That first half was very, very close. First half, first quarter was tied 14 to 14. And then we were up by four going into halftime. But then we came out with those three interceptions, dude, in the third quarter, and we put it on them. 28 points 
two of which came from uh, pick sixes. And that's what sprung us because other than that, it was a close game through and through. And if we go and look at some of the stats, the team stats, 25 first downs to 26. Total offenses were very similar. They run the veer and shoot. And I don't care how good your defense is, the veer and shoot is very hard to defend against. And, and you saw that. It was hard for them to contain us with it. And it was hard for us to contain them with it. Rushing yards, 39 rushes for 219 yards and four touchdowns. They had 18 rushes for 204 yards and two touchdowns. They were way more efficient running the ball than we were. Yards per rush, 11.3 to 5.6. Completions, attempts, and touchdowns. We were nine for 18 for three touchdowns. We were more efficient throwing the ball than they were, but they threw the ball a lot. 26 for 35, three touchdowns. They, you know, uh, yards per pass, 15.6 to eight. Passing yards, 281 to 309. So, yeah, they threw for more yards, but we were more efficient. Vice versa, same way with them on the run. Uh, we were 66% on third down conversions to their 62. Fourth down conversions, remember, we went for it on that fourth down and got it, and that was big time for us. No two-point conversions. We were 44% in the red zone. Uh, four touchdowns in the red zone, no field goals. They were two touchdowns in the red zone and one field goal. And then turnovers, of course, we were plus four in the turnover margin, guys, and that will do it. This is a game where if you turn the ball over, it's going to be hard to win. But we got four turnovers. They lost the fumble and they threw three interceptions. Uh, no punt return. They didn't have to punt. Uh, we had to punt. <laughs> you get it but kick return yards the kick return they have for a touchdown put them over so they beat us in total yards but guys this is the key right here time of possession with our offense we nickel and dime you down the field plus we had the ball a little bit more than they did that time of possession is astronomical but even look at the offensive production they had only having the ball as few as what they did um i also want to look at my player stats here uh, not so much for them. Let's look at us. Jennings, 236. He was 9 for 18, 281, 50% completion percentage, three touchdowns, zero interceptions. And it doesn't show how many times he was sacked, but we ain't concerned with that. Running the ball, Martin, 27 rushes, 164 yards. It didn't, it, I'm telling you, you put up stats in this game and it's like, dude, when did we get 160 something yards rushing? You know, but hey, when you're getting 10 yards a pop, which you can look at the average right there, uh, three touchdowns, no fumble, seven broken tackles, 45 yards after contact, no 20 plus runs. OK, but my longest was 15 and we averaged six yards a pop. My backup seven for 51, one touchdown and 7.2. And then on the receiving end, you can see I wish Cozart had a, had a bigger game, but it's tough playing against who we're playing against. He's a junior, by the way, and this is the senior Plus, he's got double dip. Six receptions, 213 yards. Look, they both average a bunch. Three touchdowns right there. Both of them had one drops, big time drops at that. So I always like to look at my uh, offensive production right there. And you can see the scoring summary as well. So this was a big opening week for the SMU Mustangs to be able to open up against AM and get the dub. You saw it here live, man. This is a crazy game i was crazy nervous for this one but we advanced uh into week two what a win against a very very tough opponent and i am going to uh actually i'll be able now to uh purchase not the motivator okay i'm almost on the talent developer spend 25 in the motivator perk um where is it at where we got the top 10? Oh, no, that's on this one. My scheme guru, it should have been unlocked. Oh, it's not unlocked. Purchase upgrades to better run. Oh, we can't unlock it. I've met the requirements, but apparently I may need to purchase one of each of these to get it. Let's see. And it still didn't unlock. Oh, my gosh. So do we have to max this out in order to do that? If we do, that's fine, because that's where I want to spec my coach into anyway. Um, oh, no, it was right there. Oh, man, I spent unnecessary points, man. It was right there. I just had to hold X to upgrade. 
I can't upgrade it. Oh my gosh, I messed that up big time, man. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Oh well, it's gonna save. We'll get it next time when we upgrade our, our, our coach or whatever. Scheme Guru Unlock, go to the coachability screen to purchase. <laughs> oh my gosh, I needed that, I needed that. It's all good, it's all good. Uh, recruiting is full and everything, so let's simulate to the next week, guys. That was a big time game for us, and we came out on top. Look at all the recruits that have us first on their list. Two five stars have us first. Championship contender got upgraded to an A program tradition because we have built the tradition of success at this program, and brand exposure went up to a B plus as well five star he has us third on his list florida and alabama are going after him as well the other five stars we are first by a significant margin both of them are halfbacks which are good because if we can get both of them we got a power back and an elusive back that will be really good but dude i really want to get this right in right here also this left tackle we're first by a mile on that so we are looking good to score some big time five star recruits ACC player of the week goes to Mr. Glass. Three tackles, one uh, deflection, pass deflection, and a tackle for a loss. He balled out, man. He got interception, too. So now we got an ACC matchup against Florida State, and I just want to see what their overall and stuff is. Uh, they're an 85 overall, 85 defense, and an 86, I mean, 85 offense and 86 defense. That is going to be an interesting game to see and to play right there. But we are going to end it right there, guys. So let me know what y'all think about the first game for the Mustang. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't and expect more content coming soon. Till next time, y'all. Thanks for watching. Peace.